All right, let's do a video. I try to lay down and relax. And I just like try to meditate, take a nap, but I just couldn't. I just felt like to do a reading. Oh my gosh, and look at it. Two of cups. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just really ex just excited. Look at this. You can't make this up. Like, love is love. Love is amazing love, and it just finds you. Anyways, I just, um, <laughs> look at this. The lovers and the two of cups. Like, and what's really cool is we have River of Blessings. This card was mixed in with this deck, and it's releasing constraints. I love it. Things you know, being lifted, you know, releasing anything that was holding us back. And I've been saying this. Divine unions, divine love, true love is is always protected. It's protected. I've been saying that a lot. And then we got the Jaguar spirit here. Okay, so what is this? Strength and see, I have cards mixed in. So strength and the gentle gardener. So it's like having the strength and courage to have this balance, but also trust and know that your eggs will be hatching, hatching like your dreams. You know what I mean? So, um, okay. So um, I was I was shuffling the deck. I paused it. Um, we have the lovers again with um, but with the union card before ones like oh my gosh so and then look at the ace of pentacles strengthening the bond so regardless if um, there's separation physically the bond is strengthening on the other you know the other realms so yeah now, I'm going to do something different, kind of do like a conversation between the masculine and the feminine. Um, so, you can take this reading as I, look at I shuffled in, here it is again. You can take it as like your own inner masculine and feminine, you know, or your divine counterpart, or if you're in a relationship, you know, like in that way. So, however it resonates, but you can you look at it as your own inner divine masculine and feminine. Okay. So, a dream's coming true. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to start with the masculine, okay? So, divine masculine, what do you want to say to your divine feminine? What do you want to say to your divine feminine? Give me some cards here. Ooh, there's, yeah. Wow, we have three of pentacles and the four of pentacles wait let's get this three of pentacles and four of pentacles so physically like wanting to cooperate you know say this is your own inner masculine and feminine the masculine is like hey let's work together let's build this bridge together let's work together um if this is a, a physical thing like this is your divine counterpart twin flame um, there's, look at this energy, like, once is ready to reach out and to open up. See how, like, she has, like, her, is that a sword? No, it's just a pillar of light coming through. Coming through, ready to open up. Um, the Four of Pentacles is usually holding on too tight. So, there's, there's a surrendering energy here. And it's, what's great is it, it's in the physical plane. So, this isn't just, like, the spiritual the 5d masculine this is the physical 3d masculine like let's build a bridge let's cooperate and at some level at some level and um yeah that's really that's really interesting okay divine feminine conversation okay do i have way to say to your masculine look at yeah once we do that it's like yes i'm ready to open up and open up even more because I know the healing will begin. It's that green chakra. Our hearts will be healed and healing. And uh, what else? Divine Femme, what do you want to say to your masculine? Yeah, it's like embrace it. Embrace the healing. Embrace. Um, yeah, she's ready for her. She's like, yes, masculine. Like, I'm ready for you to. I'm ready for us to open, really open up. And I want, this is like, 
I'm ready to see you shine even more like you know and embrace this healing embrace this healing connection between us oh, okay let's just keep going I want to get a flow here your conversation masculine what else do you want to say to your feminine wow it's like yes I want to heal too this is so cool we have so they both um in an in inner level, this is beautiful, too, because it's like the masculine and the feminine working together and collaborating. They both aspects, like both want to heal, break the chains and move forward. I love it. And especially with this one, look at this. Both hands are open. So, oh, yeah. So see how it's like before closed off? Like he's, he's feminine. I know I've been closed off in the past and closing myself up. Like, but now it's like. There's this energy of wanting to open up and collaborate, build this bridge, you know, build this bridge again. And there's a lot of light coming through. He's got light at his heart. Yeah, look at all these cards. They all have their heart is lit up. Their heart is lit up. Yeah, their heart is lit up. They both want to go towards it. The masculine is also the masculine energy is very much in like a more of a surrendered state. Wow, Ace of, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Now we have the Ace of Wands, new vitality. So exactly. So in yourself, or if you have a connection, a relationship, the masculine is like, this is a beautiful energy to see. Um, very receptive energy, healing. Both want to heal. Both want to work on things. Both are like, ready to heal the heart chakra even more too like acknowledge the masculine is acknowledging it for sure and it's like ace of this new vitality because once you like especially with the, just the inner masculine and feminine when they can collaborate and they work together as a team and they help each other heal then it's just like yeah you've got a higher self that is working both aspects of yourself of the giving and the receiving the masculine and the feminine and on a physical level, this is beautiful. I mean, as far as a relationship goes, this is great so far. Okay, so we've got Major Arcanas here, two of them. We have the World card. And it's like ready to, to birth. Yeah, this is like New Earth energy as well. Um, breaking the change. This is the star. This is our destiny. Ace of Wands, like as a, oh my goodness. Okay, masculine. We were just asking the masculine, yeah, and he said, I know, I have, like, I, I'm ready, okay, feminine, feminine, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Wow, yeah, like, I, you know, the solar plexus in the tower, yeah, she's acknowledging, feminine is acknowledging, like, my heart has been rocked up, like, through this connection or through this dynamic that we have here it's like tower it is it has broken down all of the old constructs that have that had to deal with my solar plexus like my confidence right because when the feminine energy starts really getting her in her um majesty you know her goddess essence and is no longer you know as needy and like um want craving like needing attention from uh, another from the masculine and they start really loving themselves this solar plexus gets really activated and gets really like tur turned up, you know, like in a positive um, aspect. So she's a, there's a lot of yellow here. I'm just noticing this yellow right here. So, and she's acknowledging this in the masculine, like we both had to have our, our worlds kind of rocked internally, externally, so that we can learn, you know, that, that word gets you know okay you gain new insights into yourself and so wow this is so that's another major arcana so masculine what do you want to say in response to her tower and like yeah look at that wishes coming true nine of cups you are my wish fulfillment you know i want to build look at that there's two hands right so it's like i want my i want my wish fulfillment you know, give me another one. What's this wish for feminine masculine? What do you what do you want to say to your feminine? So feminine's like, yes, like, and it's part we have to rebuild from the old. Oh my gosh, this is like one of the best readings ever. The ace of cups, now that's ten of cups. Yeah, so 
The masculine is acknowledging this love is not going away. Okay, this, nor does he want it to go away, but it just keeps building and building and building. Love abounds and dreams coming true. Yes, like the feminine is acknowledging, like we've had our worlds collided with all kinds of chaos and towers and and this whole journey of the twin, even the twin flame journey of just like, man, like this thing's like, oh, it's just like rebuilding. She knows like we have to rebuild. Sometimes it's like, yeah, you have to rebuild from the ground up. But as long as you have your love, like honestly, you have love and you have the divine guiding you, anything is possible. This, this card reminds me of like anything is possible. Dreams can come true. Like we can manifest this. Wow. Holy Toledo. Feminines, what do you want to say? <laughs> feminine. What does a feminine want to say? And this... This is amazing. Oh my gosh, the fool. Yeah, like let's go. Feminine's just ready to take the leap of faith. And um, on the physical, internally, this is an internal, just, you know, like, like really wanting to work with her masculine within herself. Like, let's do this. Trust. Trust. I know since I've connected with, um, well, you know what? Let me not get sidetracked. Let me keep this going. I don't want to... Let's keep focused on the reading. Because I don't want it to be too long. So the feminine's like the full energy. She's like, let's go. Yeah, look at this. is in reverse too. I'm taking it in reverse. And it's like, this is the devil card. It's keeping this trapped in a cage. Like this love abounds. This much love. This unconditional love that they both share for each other. This true love. Um, can no longer be contained you can't contain it love is bound like endless love is endless in your heart it's just ever flowing and so feminine is like i am not caged anymore i am free it's just this freeing energy like let's go masculine let's go i'm ready to take that leave of faith you know like this is amazing one one two three four five probably out of 10 cards half of this is major arcanas which just means major energies and major momentum in this whoever's resonating for this so yeah it's like the opportunity beckons you know the masculine's being called up like for real it's like we are in a time where it's like true we need true love we need true love counterparts like people that are really in it for you know to be have these power couples you know um yeah look at that out of sadness and isolation like the feminine's like i am done of this being in this sad lonely state like i'm i'm learning to love myself taking this you know my heart out of the cage loving myself um i had to go into this hi hibernation you know she's like masculine i had to go into this hibernation here and you know and i'm sure you did as well we both had to go through a major transformation to see what's going on um and it continues you continue to grow so masculine what do you think about with the feminine what do you say to that <laughs> i'm listening look at that i'm listening it's like the masculine is like smiling smiling and listening mm-hmm mm -hmm. looks like she's saying looks like the masculine's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i agree i agree yes and oh my gosh you guys the two of cups so now we have the ace of cups um the two of cups nine of cups like this is just amazing no wonder i couldn't relax i had to do a reading because i kept getting the idea do a reading do a reading coming together listen and coming together let's listen to each other this is also too like listening to our intuition but when we listen to our intuition we're connecting also it's like Let's listen to each other for real. It's like real deep. Really listen to what we have to say to each other. And come together. What? Yeah. Let's see. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. So the masculine, yeah, he's like, rest and reconsider. And this is the wounded warrior. So it's like, I had to really take a step back from this connection feminine and really like look at my life and how like I was, I was, you know, like this is a death card. I had to, I am or currently like have to release this old suit here. 
like the 3D matrix and all that it came up with, I'm ascending with you. I'm here. Like, it's like, I'm here. And um, I feel like in the reverse like that, it's like, it could be right now it's going on. So that's why it's like, um, he's letting the feminine know, like, or I feel like this is a deep inner release, like internal, yeah, like very internal um, shadow work and dark night of the soul to the masculine is. It's taking you like, I'm ready to take this, take this off, like, and be me. Because feminine, you love me. That's what I've learned. Like, I, that you love me like this, like unconditionally. And I know that healing starts with reaching out, with collabor collaboration, this coming together. I'm listening and it's like, looks like she's saying, I wholeheartedly agree. Like, <laughs> this is amazing. It's time to balance things out. So like I said, take it out. Resonates. This could be your internal masculine and feminine energies or your divine counterpart or your relationship. But this is beautiful. This kind, this right here is something that lasts. You know what I mean? Because both, you know why? Because both energies, the masculine and the feminine are, are wanting and not, not just wanting because you can want for, for anything. You can want and want and want, right? They're willing to take action. They're willing to work on it. That's, that's why I feel like this connection is longstanding because they both are willing to work on it and to heal it. They see it. Base chakra, third eye chakra also came out and put it back just because like, so what that's telling me is that's we're mer it's merging the two the physical so what happens on the spiritual right trickles down into the 3d and manifests so that's what's happening <laughs> here yeah this came out again so just to reaffirm they both i feel like this is both energies wanting to give and receive in a balance and okay so where are we off with the mass then okay feminines what do you think what do you, what's going on what do you have to say the masculine yeah blossom choose your battles yeah it's almost like let me hold on because it kind of is it reverse or oh i feel like this is she's saying like choosing your battles like she knows like masculine i know that you've had to choose your battles or had to we both have had to stand up to other people or influences karmic individuals and this is how this is part of our awakening She's saying this is part of our awakening and a part of a, our, our journey together, our sacred journey and our sacred dance. You put it upright because this is the judgment card. This is, this is it. This is like judgment call. This is reconciliation coming together for good and no backing down and they're willing to work on it. Okay. So internally, this is great. This is how, this is how I feel like unions happen is when internally you feel you're at that place where you're ready for a conscious relationship i'm not talking about just a fling or just you know a conscious relationship two people two individuals that want to work together like and build a cooperative just amazing okay a new type of just conscious relationship and she's like i know that we've had to choose our battles and had to have all these big, you know, all of these, like, our ego, this is also, like, the ego in our face, our shadow, like, but that's part of our awakening, so that's the feminine saying, masculine, we started with the masculine, let's, we'll end with the masculine, okay, because it's getting to be a long message, wow, this was amazing, masculine, what do you want to say, final words, masculine, your feminine, final words, not, like, final, final, because obviously, I mean, you guys are on the same page, frequency, frequency-wise, this group of divine counterparts or people or if this is just resonating for you it, it's the it's like similar frequency that's yeah what do you want to say okay what do you want to say to your feminine it's almost like what do i say i feel like i said everything yeah happy i've really had to take a deep look within you know those child wounds and really take a look at what has been triggering me and what triggers you know, we trigger each other and then it, it shows up to the surface on what we need to work on. And yeah, it was like I was refusing to see. Wow, dang, look at this. And look at, look what's on the top. The lovers again. I was refusing to see this connection because you know what? It's like 
it really, especially this kind of connection, the soul growth that it, it, it gets you to like, look at your, your deep inner shadows and the moon is about emotions, emotional blockages, like hidden feelings, like confront is the word on here. So confronting the refusal to see, like ignoring your intuition. It's like, I ignored my intuition. Like I wasn't using it, wasn't tapped in. Like, but look at what's the next card. Oh my gosh. But I know once I complete this part of, like, I know that I will have my well-deserved reward, which is this union this togetherness that we can work together and look at there's the heart chakra right i was talking about all about the heart in this reading it's like i'm over these challenging times like i'm ready to go and to share the love with you and what i have clarity of belief i see it my third eye that you are the empress okay we'll leave it at this look at there you go <laughs> masculine's like i know you're my nurturing um, loving Empress Feminine. And that's it. Like, there no if ands, or buts. Now it's just a matter of us, like, working together and manifesting this in the physical world and making it happen. You know, because you can want, like I said, want, want, want. But if you're not willing to take action and work for it, like, you can want all day. But this is amazing. I'm just like, Hold on, let me, I want to just get an oracle, not this deck, the other one. An oracle, please, for the Divine Feminine Masculine, please. Wow, Earth's magic, fearlessness, and removing obstacles. Hi. <laughs> Look at this. This is the energy that they're both in. The masculine especially is like fearlessness, ready to jump on his horse and go to his feminine. Okay, like, dang. The obstacles are being removed. Remember, keep affirming that true love will come together, that true love unions are protected. True love unions are protected. Because for a while, yeah, they, they didn't want the true love to come together because it'll change the world, but it's happening. We're powerful together, unified in love. That's from the masculine. That's just that came out. Okay, this is great. I can't wait to upload this. All right, hope you enjoyed this message. Bye.